Hello, everyone. My name is Clara Jones, and I offer systemized solutions to art businesses and badass small business builders so that they can grow and scale their businesses without burning out. So this is the next video in a series where I go over some of the tips, tools, and strategies that I use both in my own business as well as in my clients' businesses. And today I wanted to continue on this theme of moving our businesses online, especially in the current times. We're grappling with our second month of being um, faced with stay-at-home measures due to the coronavirus. And I've been doing a series of videos of how to really move our operations online in fast and efficient ways that produce results. And so my last couple of videos were about creating websites, specifically e-commerce sites, as well as how to market online on social media platforms. And today I wanted to go over how to structure your offerings using the Ascension Model framework so that you can productize your services, offerings online and have streams of revenue that don't rely on in-person or one-on-one -on -one interactions. So typically when people offer services in particular, there's a need for in-person interactions. There's a lot of one-on-one -on -one offerings. And so I highly recommend that service providers have a series of different Ascension model offerings so that their business income is diversified across many streams. I know that you've heard about diversifying your investments, and that is a measure of safety to make sure that you don't put all of your eggs in one basket. And I'm encouraging you to do the same with your business income streams. And even if you're a product provider, you're often relying on a one-to-many access product, and it also behooves you to create other streams of income as well. And so the Ascension Model Framework basically is an ascending staircase of levels at which your clients or customers can access you and your expertise. And level one, we start at freebies. So this is free videos, blogs, newsletters, white papers, reports, checklists, stuff like that. So this is the kind of stuff that you offer to someone who, for example, signs up for your email list. You might want to send them a white paper in return for giving them your their email. And the freebies are also stuff that you can put on your website, like blogs, videos, stuff like that, stuff that you can put on YouTube, stuff that is easily accessible to a wide audience and something that you make once and you never have to really interact with again. So you can create systems that are automated so that when people, for example, sign up for your newsletter via your website, they are automatically sent the white paper or the report or the checklist or whatever it is. So then they get value from your offerings and from your expertise for free. And so level one is just a nice little taste of your expertise. So you're not really giving away the whole cow here. You're just giving them a taste of what to expect if they do decide to further pursue your products or your services. Level two is going to be one-to-many access. And so these are going to be the lowest priced offerings that you have. So these are self-paced webinar courses, workbooks, templates, DIY kits. These are basically things that your clients and customers are going to complete or consume without your involvement. So these again are offerings, products that you create one time and then sell over and over and over again without you being directly involved when the consumer or the client um, uses the product or service. So this is something that can be easily sold on an e-commerce site for a low price. So we're talking somewhere between $4 to maybe $49 per item. And so keep it under $100 per piece of content. You know, if you are on the higher end of the spectrum, they're going to expect a lot of value from these things. So I recommend staying on the lower end of the spectrum. And remember to price your things with the numbers like four, seven, and nine, 49, $17, 39, 37, 14, stuff like that, because the mind 
thinks those numbers are great because they make the customer think they're getting a deal. So these are cheap and easy, one-time, one-to-many access offerings that people can consume more readily than your higher priced items. And so level three is gonna be a little more expensive, that's group access. And so these are offerings where people get access to your expertise in a group setting. And so workshops, live webinars, masterminds, networking events, in-person courses, those are the kinds of things that you can offer in the group access level. And so again, these are going to be more expensive because they actively require your time for the consumer to use the product or the service. So your time as the expert is going to be more valuable. And so you need to continually show up in order to provide and deliver these offerings. And so it's going to be a little more expensive than the one-to-many access offerings. So um, these can be easily done via Zoom. They can easily be done in a Facebook group that's private, where you give someone access to it after they've paid you for it, stuff like that. And then level four is going to be your one-to-one access offerings. And so this is in-person services. This is going to, going to be one-to-one Zoom calls. That's individualized support. So when you are working with someone one-to-one, this is going to be the most expensive offering that you provide because it's only you and your customer. So your expertise is not diluted among many people as in a group, but they are getting your direct expertise at your own time. And so your time as the expert, as a one-to-one access is going to be the most expensive. So that's just an overview of how you can build out your Ascension model frameworks for selling things on e-commerce. So things that you can sell via e-commerce websites are like one-to-many access level two offerings, group access level three offerings, and one-to-one access level four offerings. And you can even provide freebies on your e-commerce sites to wet people's whistle when they are thinking about engaging you in more buying your products or services. So I wanted to give you guys a little bit of outline. I'm in the process of creating a new website for myself as well. And so I've created my website outline based on the Ascension Model Framework. And so I have sub pages for all of my offerings based on the categories of my three pillars. My three pillars of business success are sustainable schedules, marketing strategies and processes and systems. And those are the pillars that I guide my clients through. And so when I'm organizing these on my new website, I wanted to categorize them under each of the pillars because that makes them more searchable. Think about what your clients are going to search if they go to Google to look up services or products that are similar to yours. And so by categorizing them by category instead of by ascension level, it's going to be a higher chance that you will show up in Google search when they search for help in that category. And so I have a three pillars subpage that goes over the overview of three pillars in general. I have a sustainable schedules subpage, and then I have a marketing strategies subpage and a processes and systems subpage. And so under each category, I have freebies, self-paced, group, and one-to-one -one offerings for each of those subpages because people want different levels of access to me under each of those categories. So for example, in my, I'm gonna start going over my sustainable schedule subpage here. Under my freebies for that, I have a lot of videos that I've done, like my Loom how-to videos. And so I'm going to put these on the website as blog posts so that people can scroll through and look at my videos as a way to introduce themselves to my expertise. And these videos give away a little, but they don't really explain my full expertise because it puts all of the responsibility for integrating the information that they're learning from the videos into their own hands. And there's a lot of people that don't actually follow through with the information that they're learning from how-to videos. And so you're not really giving away your services for free by offering how-to videos. And so this is an example of what I'm doing right now of a Loom video that I'm using as a how-to video. And so I use Loom 
as my video platform for a lot of my offerings. As you can see here, this is my Loom video library. And I have my general videos set up in my general library, but I also have separate folders for my how-to videos and for my self-paced webinar courses. And so this is my how-to video folder. And so all of these are open and available to the public. They are entirely searchable online. There are no barriers to entry for people to find these videos. And I post them regularly on social media as well as download them to my computer and then uploading them to YouTube. So this is just a example of all of the how-to video freebies that I've made. And then I've also created a series of webinar series, uh, course series, where I provide a webinar course, a series of webinars that go over a particular topic. This is my three pillars webinar course, and these are password protected videos. So they are not searchable by the public. So people have to buy the course in order to get access to the password. So that's how you can make both free and paid videos on the Loom platform. And so going back to my website setup, under the Sustainable Schedule subpage, the freebies are going to be how-to videos that are freely available on Loom and YouTube and social media. And then my self-paced level on the Ascension Model Framework is going to be my Sustainable Schedules webinar course. And I'm in the process of building that now. And so I will be uploading that to Loom like I did my three pillars webinar course that I just showed you. And I will be putting passwords on them to protect them from searchability. And so people have to buy the webinar course via my e-commerce site in order to get access to the video passwords. And so that's a way that you can set up a system on your e-commerce site so that people can buy your offerings that they can consume with or without your involvement. And so you can set up systems on the back end where once people buy the webinar course, they are sent an email series with the passwords to the video so that they can access it almost immediately. And then for the group offerings under my sustainable schedules, I am also launching a sustainable schedules group course. And so this is going to take my self-paced webinar course and then add group meetings to it. And so the group course is more valuable because they are then getting access to me after they consume the webinar course. So for each webinar video that they are getting through the webinar course, they are also getting a group Zoom session with me every week to brainstorm and implement the learnings that they had from the self-paced webinar course. And so this is going to be more valuable because they are getting direct access to me in a group environment. And so that's gonna be a more valuable offering because then they can come back to me as the expert and brainstorm and mastermind to see how they can integrate those learnings into their own particular businesses. So that's a way to up-level the self-paced offerings and provide more value as the expert. And then for one-to-one -one offerings for the sustainable schedules category, I provide sustainable schedule coaching programs. And so this is when they get direct one-to-one -one access from me and I guide them through building a sustainable schedule for themselves. And it's a three-month program and they get, they get six one-to-one -one coaching sessions with me. And so again, that's going to be much more valuable because it's not my expertise is directly available to them and their issues or their unique problems and it's not being diluted in a group environment. And so that's an example of a way to provide different Ascension Model Framework offerings in an e-commerce format, because they can sign up for any of these self-paced group or one-to-one -one offerings via my e-commerce site, pay for them via my e-commerce site, and then get access to them via my e-commerce site. So for to just give you a few more examples for my marketing strategies category, I have a bunch of freebie videos as well, how-to videos that I have on the Loom platform, on the social media platforms, on YouTube. 
and they're going to be embedded on my website as blog posts that people can browse through in their own time. And then for self-paced, I have a marketing strategies webinar course that I'm making as well. And so that's going to be a self-paced webinar course. And again, they're going to have passwords to videos that they buy. And so then they can do those webinar courses on their own without my assistance. And then the group offering is the marketing strategies group course where they do get access to my assistance and get an opportunity to brainstorm with a group and mastermind with a group in order to further integrate those learnings into their own unique businesses and lives. Because a lot of people do want to do it on their own. I'm one of those people. I would much rather do a marketing strategies webinar course by myself because I trust my ability to integrate the learnings on my own. But other people prefer group community access. And so they work better when they're brainstorming with a group of people. And so you can offer services and offerings to both groups of people. So it's a way to access people at their own level, essentially. And then the one-to-one -one for marketing strategies is custom biz dev programs, where I take all of their current marketing strategies and optimize them and improve them with them one-on-one, -on -one. or my VIP badass biz program, which is a year-long high-priced program where we go through their entire business as a whole and improve it and get it ready to be scaled on a very high level. So that's one-to-one -one access. And so some people want high level one-to-one -one hands-on access. Some people want group access in a community. Some people just want self-paced. And then some people just want cheap freebies that they can consume and just have for whatever purposes. So by offering different levels of Ascension Model offerings, you are really just accessing them at the level at which they like to consume content. So I hope that was helpful for you guys. Um, let me know if you have any questions or comments, post them below. And hopefully I answered a lot of questions for you. If not, hit me up. I always love hearing from you guys. So that's it for today. Love you all. Take care and have a good one. Bye.